Hi, my name is Alex Ferrer. I am from Brazil, but I live currently in Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, I came to Manchester and painted a mural based on the community. Uh, I went to the Boys and Girls Club in my very first day here and had a workshop with the kids there where they gave me uh, some of the elements I needed to the, to, the, to the mural. I asked them to draw their favorite things, such as their favorite food, their favorite uh, piece of clothing, their uh, favorite uh, animal or, or toy or uh, whatever. And I, after that, while they were drawing, I was uh, sketching some of them to become potentially some of my characters grabbed all the, the paper sheets, came back to the hotel and started uh, creating the designs uh, based on the elements they gave me. And that's how I came up with the, with the two characters I, I painted. One of the, one of the kids is, was, is this girl called Olivia. First of all, she was very outgoing and, and uh, she was one of the, the, the kids who actually talked more, interacted more. And she also gave me this drawing where she had crystals, she drew crystals, uh, a duck, and mushrooms. It's so cool seeing our pictures come alive. The fact he put little tiny details in there, like the little earrings um, I did with my mushrooms and my crystals. And we came by yesterday and everyone was like, Liv, it's you! And I thought, it just... It's so amazing to see it come alive. I love art and I love the way it brings us all together. Okay, so for the other mural, I had this uh, other kid, it's a boy. Uh, his name was Max. And I, I used him as the character. And then someone drew balloons. Uh, and someone, oh, and then there was this girl called Star and she was wearing a t-shirt uh, with the cover of Dookie, the album by Green Day. And in that album cover, there were some dogs dancing and I took one of those dogs and made the hat that Max is wearing in, in this other mural. My name is Amanda Hill and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts and I am painting a 700 square foot mural and we're out here in Manchester, New Hampshire. The design was created with um, a bunch of students from My Turn, which is a local nonprofit youth center. And with them, we did a workshop where I asked them to bring in an object that represented their connection to community. And so from those conversations and activities, I came up with a design. So for example, meals and cooking was one aspect that they talked a lot about and how you know, that would bring together family and friends and so that's why we have a woman cooking in the background and it's actually a New Hampshire resident. So part of the inspiration for this mural was the kids started talking a lot about technology and how that connects them to community both through their actual phones and various social media apps. So what I did in the design was I had it fading into pixels and that's the squares on the bottom that represent pixels. And so this was also an easy way to have the community come and paint colors and have it be flat um, and where you didn't need a ton of skill. The beautiful thing about Arts Build Community is we're giving people a bunch of joy just by walking around being able to, to see these murals. Um, but it's also a, a level of pride in their city, um, in their spaces, and it brings joy to everyone's you know, day. They're walking down the street and they see something that's colorful and beautiful and hopefully it puts a smile on their face. Hey everyone, my name is David Maldonado. Um, I'm a local artist from Houston and um, I created this mural here. So the pattern work in my murals are, are something that I take inspiration from just elements that I see around the city. It could be um, the fences at somebody's house or just strolling through a neighborhood and just seeing different colors of uh, the color palettes on, on houses or it could even be like uh, just branding elements from you know a local coffee shop or something. Uh, so there's some tiles in here that are inspired by the tiles at, at uh, Consuelos Taqueria 
Um, some of the, the designs inside those stripes or doodles that, you know, through a workshop that we did with the Boys and Girls Club. And being able to use those drawing elements and putting them together was, was really cool. But there's, there's uh, sometimes flower elements or like floral elements, but sometimes there's just flowers. But everything else is just kind of flowing and tying those things together. So that's really how my creative process with the patterns begins. I really like to incorporate animals into my work. I haven't always really had the chance to do that and I'm glad that this project was another chance for me to try that. Um, so the bird was kind of a challenge for me and also an opportunity for me to try something different. But also wanted to find like a local bird that's um, you know, here all season. So I found this canary um, and I thought it was a really cool element to add to this mural. First of all, I built community it's exactly what the name suggests. I mean, it was clear through all the days we're here how community got more and more involved and, and prouder and prouder of what was going on here. We've been super welcome here in, in Manchester. And working with David and Amanda has been fantastic. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm truly sure that I made uh, very good friends. Uh, like seeing Alex uh, incorporate elements from, from his workshop and seeing Amanda do the same thing. Uh, just seeing how uh, open they are and also how empathetic they are with, with, with those things and how they can not only just paint a mural but really uh, do justice by, by really incorporating themselves through the artwork but into the community. You know, because we're together all the time, you really develop a sort of camaraderie with all of the other artists. The assistants and the volunteers we had helping us. So we, we were, I mean, very lucky and blessed to have all this, this people eager, wanting to, to learn, wanting to interact, learn, taking advantage of having artists coming from out, out of the town to, to teach and to, you know, absorb uh, new information. And so it's, it's really a beautiful thing. It's, you know, not only are we connecting with the community of Manchester, we're also connecting with each other and learning from each other.